everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today is a project polish update about what I used over the month of October. I keep wanting to say September, but uh, it's not September anymore. So, as you guys know, I have already finished off a whole nail wheel. We have moved on to this one over here. Two of these are finished already. So move on to this pink color right here, which as you guys know, this was a focus shade for me this month because um, it's like an early fall shade. And that, of course, is Essie Mrs. Always Right. In terms of my markings, I was here and now cannot see it. Uh, I am done. So that is the progress there. I was able to get an additional five uses out of this from the last update, bringing me to a total of 20 uses to finish this entire five milliliter bottle, which is a lot of uses. Um, I didn't really like this color on my toes, but I did do some nail combos to get it finished off. The first one I did was CND's Glitter Sneakers. You have seen in this topper a lot. You can see the little dent I'm getting in there as well. And then that one was okay. You've seen this Pacifica. This is Mermaid Tail. Again, getting lower down on that. Uh, did this combo as well. That turned out decently. And then a combo I really enjoyed. I don't have a name for this little mini OPI, uh, but it is so pretty. Uh, purpley with gold and it's very nice. I did enjoy this one. I think I wore this one. Well, if it was one, two, three, four, five, I think, twice to get this guy finished off. So really enjoyed it, got it done, so exciting. So this pink is now done, this really gorgeous glitter finished previously brings us to this very summery blue, and that of course is from Sinful Colors. This is in endless blue. Honestly, moving forward, I'm not sure how much use I'm gonna get for the next month at least. This could be used as a wintry color, like to make it wintry, but over the next month, maybe not, just to give you a heads up. Here is my usage. I was here last month and got it down to that second or third line, I should say there. Um, so you know what, that is pretty decent. And unfortunately it looks like I didn't mark it the best. So it's the top of that black line there that lines up. I only did manage to get another four uses on it. So hey, at least there was some movement, um, bringing me from a total of 23 from start of the bottle to down here. So pretty darn good, I'm pleased with it. But again, like it's getting colder. So although we've had some nice days, unless I really need a break from my other polishes, I don't know if this is gonna get used in the next update and then we'll have to see about the one after that. So this might be the end of the road for the blue, but I did know that when I rolled it in and I've made more progress than I thought I would. So I'm still very pleased. Next up is the nude that I currently have. This is L'Oreal and uh, what is this? L'Oreal Nail Lacquer in Nude Demoiselle. This was basically new. I had used it a couple of times. The bottle was basically new. I've used it a couple of times and now I've got this nice clear line down to here. This is a three coater, which is why I was able to make this progress. Uh, five uses, uh, all of them manicures. So five uses times three coats to get from basically the top here down to there. Next up is this gorgeous purple. What I really like about this is that it's dark, but it's still obviously purple. That is my Sally Hansen. This is the Diamond Strength No Chip Nail Color in Save the Date. I use this a lot as a pedicure, so every other pedicure I was using this one, used it on the nails a lot. I gravitated towards it at the beginning, and then I was trying to finish it. And I didn't quite get there, but I did start, and then there's an extra thing going on there, don't know what that is, but this is where I was last month, and this seems to be where I am now. So I'm not sure how many more uses I'm actually going to get out of this, because it's so far down, but... Uh, Oh well, it's getting really, really close, and I am loving this color. This was the last color that was previously in the project, so as of the last month. Again, these were both new in last month. Uh, that is my L'Oreal Timeless Taupe. This is part of like a dual-ended product. So you have this on one side, and then a top coat on the other. This was basically brand new, and you guys can see that progress so there already. From here to there. 
This is a total of six uses. One of those was a pedicure. Um, and uh, like I said, it does move pretty quickly. Um, although I only did use it six times. Now I did do some toppers with this one as well. So back to C&D glitter sneakers. That one was pretty decent. So I did enjoy that one. I also did a combo with uh, the Sassy and Chic 943. You can see more of a line going down on that one. Um, I accidentally did this one twice because I forgot I did it. So, oh well. So that was this one. And then I also tried to summarize it up a little bit. Not really summarize it, but like follow it up a little bit more as well. A little different. You've seen Sally Hansen Eternally Grapefruit. And that combo turned out pretty nicely as well. So... I did a fair number of combos with it, made some really good progress, so we'll just keep going on this guy. Which then brings us to what is on my nails right now. And if you've been watching my project polish for a while, uh, then you already know what this is. Because you saw this color last, was it March? Back when I was doing 10 uses on everything, and I said I would bring it back in for the fall. Because I have been craving a bit of a darker nail. Um... And on camera that kind of looks a little black, but that is this color right here. This is the Guerlain in Black Perfecto, which again, it, it's in the bottle. And look at that right there. You can see it. Um, purpley, got some gold, maybe a little bit of bronze looking. This is what comes out on the nail every time. It just looks dark. Um, so kind of unfortunate. Now I did literally just use this like what, 15 minutes ago? So uh, it's a little all shaken up. So these are the progress marks from when I first was playing with this in this project. That's where I started. This was seven uses later. This oh, was another three uses, getting me to 10 uses in the project. This is now my new starting line right here. So basically from here to basically wherever it is now is 11 uses total, including today's manicure. Now, I don't know how far down that's going to go because it is it is kind of hard to do my nails right now. Um, you really have to shake it up, but we'll see how it goes. But we'll get some progress on this guy here. So just going back to the current nail wheel, if I take off everything that's finished, this is my current color story. But as I talked about this blue, I'm not sure how much that's really going to get used because it's kind of beyond seasonally appropriate until we can maybe winterize it a little bit. So really, this is my current color story that I'm working with. So it's decent. Um, yeah, like these ones are kind of similar. Like obviously like this one's much deeper than the Timeless Taupe is, but I'm pretty happy with the color story. And again, these three here are the ones that I do want to have finished for the end of the year because they were all featured in my Plan to Pan Nail Polish for 2023. So these are the main focuses here. So with that in mind, let's talk about goals. Um, again, because this guy is so sticking close, like we're down to here according to a flashlight shining through it, you cannot see otherwise. Um, I don't know how many uses I'll get out of this. Uh, and I don't want to fuss, as you guys know. So when it becomes too much hassle, I'm done. So maybe I'll get some pedicures out of it because that requires less nail polish at a time, but this one is goal number one to get finished. The second goal, and the only one I'm fully gonna set, I do think I want to do this one just because it is a little bit lighter. So I think this one goes into the winter a little bit more than this guy. I mean, this is kind of like a neutrally darker color, but still. I think this one needs to be my next focus. Uh, again, six uses got me to here, so we'll see how far down this one goes as well. I have finished last year when I was doing Project Polish on my own, uh, two of these. There was a magenta one and... Was that just one? I can't remember what the other color was. I could have sworn there was another color in this. Um, so it, it's fairly easy, just I need more dedicated uses out of it compared to the six I got. Now, of course, next month, so that's gonna be the last update before the finale for this project. And uh, again, if you're familiar with my Plan to Pan nail polish for this year, there are still two that I do want to roll in for the holidays. So I got a lot of polish to work on, so that is gonna probably limit my focus mainly to these three. Because I do want to finish. Like, obviously, I'd like to make more progress on the nude. Um, 
and that will probably get rolled over into next year. A little sneak peek. Um, but because I want to finish things, I'm going to focus on these three in particular so that I can hopefully roll stuff out to make room for the two new ones I want to bring in. There's the overall shot of my current color wheel. So you can definitely see like the end of summer, definitely into fall, winter kind of thing happening. We don't have snow yet, but it's uh, it's coming. Who knows when it'll get here. But that is going to wrap up today's Project Polish update. Thank you so much for joining me for it. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And of course, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.